Hi everyone. Uh, today we take up an important topic. Uh, this topic is important because uh, questions related to this topic is being asked in the oral examination of candidates. So I thought I will uh, use a few pictures to show you uh, how to answer questions related to this topic. The topic for today is how are the lifeboats and the lifeboat davids load tested. This video belongs to steering mariners and all the copyright is owned by us. The davids are used to launch lifeboats. So you can see that uh, the davids where a lifeboat is lowered with has to be load tested every five years because the david plays an important role on the ship. The role of the david is to take the weight of the lifeboat along with the complement of the crew and lower it or even uh, lift the lifeboat from the water level back to the ship. So that is why it has to be uh, load tested at least every five years. Now usually this is done by loading the lifeboat with a weight which is equal to the weight of the people what the boat is designed for plus an extra weight which is called overweight. So this normally means number of people it is required to carry multiplied by 75 kilograms is the average weight of a person taken plus 10 percent of the total weight. The weights are often water bags. The load test is a dynamic test. The boat is lowered by lifting the brake where after the brake is applied again and all should hold. So I will show you in my next slide what I mean by putting water bags in the lifeboat but I am just showing you this picture here because this is the load testing uh, carried out of a retrieval David of a free fall lifeboat. Now this crane is only used to take the boat after launching back on board and on the launching berth and in case free fall launching for testing which has to be done at least every three months is not practicable to do a controlled launching by hosting the boat into the water. So the role of a free fall um, lifeboat David is very important as well. So this is how the free fall lifeboat David is load tested. As you can see this uses a water bag as well. Uh, this is the load testing of a free fall retrieval crane using a water bag. So this water bag is also equivalent to the weight of the free fall lifeboat it is required to carry. So that would be uh, the number of persons the lifeboat is required to carry multiplied by 75 kilograms on an average weight plus 10 percent of it. So this is for a free fall lifeboat but I, in my next slide I will show you how the uh, a David launch lifeboat David and lifeboat is load tested as well. So you can see here the load testing of lifeboat and the David is done together using small water bags. So the water bags are actually inside the lifeboat. This is of course an open type lifeboat but the principle is pretty much the same of an enclosed lifeboat. These days of course open type lifeboats are rarely found but uh, this picture shows you the principle behind the load testing. So these water bags are used in order to spread the weight equally in the lifeboat. So boats, hooks and davids they also have to be thoroughly examined yearly including the on-road release system and all this will be part of your planned maintenance schedule. Now this is normally done by the makers of the boat or an approved organization or a firm and this is not normally done by the ship staff. It's not done by the ship staff. It's normally done by the uh, people who have manufactured the boat and boats and davids are also important items during the yearly survey of the safety equipment carried out by the flag state or the classification society or even during the ISM audit. So when you especially go into uh, places like dry docks or you are uh, taking over a vessel or a new vessel or the vessel has undergone massive repairs, uh, you may use that opportunity to carry out load testing of the lifeboat as well as the lifeboat David. So questions are being asked on how the load testing is carried out, what is the procedure behind it, who does it. So you, these are the answers to it. So I just took the number of questions and I have combined them in my presentation today. So the load testing is normally done by the shore authorities, people who have manufactured the lifeboat, uh, 
uh, it could be the class it could be the people who have manufactured it uh, when the vessel was being delivered newly delivered and they will carry out the load testing and they will also you issue the vessel with a load testing certificate that will show that the live boat is strengthened enough or strong enough to take the weight of the entire complement plus 10% extra which accounts for the stores supplies and any other things that you may carry with you during a real emergency so i thought i'll make this short video just for you and to help you with your oral examination studies and to answer questions related to this topic i'll continue making videos on this topic or similar topics because i get a lot of questions from the students when they finish their oral exam or just before they go for oral exam they get access to some questions and they send me these questions and i try to answer them but i need some time to research as well all right thank you for watching steering mariners and uh, i will also be uh, releasing some more latest oral examination questions that are being asked of candidates who have recently passed their oral examination and they are sending me the questions so i will pass it on to you as well so that you can prepare for your exam thank you for watching guys and thank you for supporting the channel good luck with everything bye